Hi guys, thanks for joining me for another Photoshop tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create frequency separation in very simple and easy steps. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing you need to do before you can actually create frequency separation is having to go through a complete skin cleanup. So you have to create a new layer and call that blemish removal. And I'm not gonna take you through this step. I'm just going to speed edit because you've already seen it in my previous videos. Um, and the point is just to clean up the skin and make sure that it's nice and clean before we can add the frequency separation effects. So let's begin. So now that I've completed editing her skin, I'll create the frequency separation effect. And I'll do that by duplicating the layers. I will rename the top layer, high frequency, and that's going to be my texture layer. And I will rename the lower layer, low frequency, and that's going to be my color layer. So I will select both layers and I will group them and I will call that group frequency separation. Okay, so now click on the high frequency texture layer and turn that off by clicking on the eye icon. Now go to low frequency layer, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and bring the slider all the way down and then start going up the slider very slowly all the way until the skin gets really blurred out. I normally stick at 5.5 pixels. To me this is my safe number and I always work on that uh, on most of my portraits. Of course, every portrait is different. It depends on how sharp your image originally is. But 5.5 usually works perfectly. So I'll stick to that. Hit OK. Now go back to the high frequency layer and bring that back on by clicking on the eye icon. Now what you want to do is go to image, apply image, and for the layer, select low frequency slash color. For the blending, make sure it's on subtract. Your opacity is at 100%, scale at two, and offset is 128. Hit okay. Now change the blending mode to linear light. You can either use the spot healing brush or the clone tool to clean up the skin. I normally use the clone tool as that's the one I normally like using. I will go down to 40% for my opacity and I'll increase the flow to 100% and change the sample to current layer because you want the effect to only take place on this layer. Okay, now start cleaning away. Make sure you are sampling very close to the area that you want to clean up so that the texture will look very similar. Okay, so now click on low frequency, click on the lasso tool, 
make sure your feather is at 20% and select around a large area of the skin and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur again bring the slider down and slowly go up all the way until you see that it's become very nice and smooth that's a bit too much I normally stick to 15 but you can adjust it as you please okay so let's have a look at what it looked like before and after before after let's get closer yes that's looking really good I'm liking it okay let's continue and now you can always click on the shortcut which is Control F and what that does is just create the same effect that you created previously so it makes your workflow much faster Just select around the areas that you need to smooth out. Sometimes you might want to bring the radius of the blur down as having a very high radius might just um, blur out the highlighted areas and you don't want that to happen because that particular section will look too flat, especially around the nose and the lips and the eyes. You want to make sure that the radius is not that high. Okay, so that's looking really good. I mean, you can always go back to the high frequency layer and make any extra adjustments that you like if you're not happy with certain areas. So continue doing that until you are pleased with the finished results. And just extra little touches here and there before we finalize the image. Just a little bit here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, let's take a look at the before and after before after okay so what we'll do is um, take a look at before the frequency separation effect and before the blemish removal so that's what the image looked like originally and that's what it looks like with all the effects so before after that's looking pretty good you can always um, create a stamp visible layer and that's where you can do your sharpening. So let's do that just to see how good it's going to look. So I go to filter and there's different ways of sharpening your image. I normally go to smart sharpen, I really like it. Um, obviously that's a bit too high, just bring that slider down and the radius. I mean, I like to see a bit of texture on the skin as long as, you know, everything is looking so immaculate and flawless. Very simple and easy way to edit your images and make them look so professional. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, I hope to see you next time.